Hello. Today, I actually want to read Luke in chapter 4. It's not a long one, but it's, um, it's the temptation of Jesus. So here we go. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit in the desert, where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and at the end of them he was hungry. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell this stone to become bread. And Jesus answered, It is written, Man does not live on bread alone. The devil led him up to a high place and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And he said to him, I will give you all their authority and splendor, for it has been given to me, and I can give it to anyone I want to. So if you worship me, it will be yours. Jesus answered, It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. The devil led him to Jerusalem and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the son of God, he said, throw yourself down from here. For it is written, he will command his angels concerning you to guard you carefully. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. And Jesus answered, it says, do not put the Lord your God to the test. When the devil had finished all this tempting, he left him until an opportune time. We are supposed to go through temptation. And the devil is very smart. Okay? You need to remember that. Because again, he's been studying you since you are born. And he's been controlling you. If you're not living for God, he's been controlling you all your life. He knows where you're weak. He knows what you like. And he knows what you're going after. And he loves the fact that you're full of pride, that you're selfish, that you lie to people to get your way, and that you're a hypocrite. And I can tell you that because that was me. I lied to control everything, and I was so selfish. And I had this pride. We all do that because I wasn't following God. I was going to church, but I was being a hypocrite. I was not going to church to go completely after him. Double-minded. But Jesus knew his reward. He went through the wilderness for 40 days. Can you imagine to be in the wilderness for 40 days? We like, I don't want to use the word freak out, but we do freak out if we go through some trials for a while. We don't know what to do. We get desperate. We gossip. But Jesus. Jesus knew that God had a better plan. And he was fighting with flesh. He was hungry. He was tired. I bet those 40 days were really long. But he hung up. He, he was hanging on to God's love to God's plans, to God's will, knowing and believing and trusting that there was a reward. That at the end, he was going to give his life for the human race and to be the king of kings. And by that, and by that act, by that sacrifice, that was all love. He left his kingdom to become poor. He left to be with God to show you love. Do you hear what I'm saying? 
Jesus left everything behind. Someone that was completely innocent. To carry all this pain from the world. To carry all that shame, sickness. For you. For me. And you can't make time for him. You can't give up your fun here in the world. To experience, to be part of that truth. That nothing is worth of what you're doing. That he's worth it all. That it's not worth you not forgiving people. That he's worth it all because he forgives your sins. That it's not worth what you have here in the world because everything will burn here. But what he offers you is eternal. It's common sense. Don't be smart to be a doctor. Don't be smart to manage your money very well. But not be smart about choosing what is good. For good. Forever. I should be dead. I could be in jail right now for all the crazy things that I was doing. For that crazy path that the devil was leading me. Really since I was a little girl. Stop the devil now. You know in your heart you're not going after God completely. You know in your heart that when you're going through a trial or a temptation, you're not going to God. You're trying to stay afloat on your own. And that's where we make a huge mistake. And that's where we fall. And we fall deeper in a mess. But if you understand that you're going to a, a trial... And you run to get his stool. You run to the word. And you lean to his strength. And his patience. And you say, God, what are you teaching me? He's teaching you something. The fact that he went through 40 days through the wilderness. He's teaching you a lot here. You need the word of God. Not just food or whatever you can do throughout the day. So you, you're, you're you, you're being you, doing what you want to do, going after the things you want to do. Do you understand that's not enough? Do you understand that, again, the devil knows exactly your, um, how to work your mind, how to work with your feelings? And you again being ignorant. Are listening to him. And you're making decisions. Bad decisions. Because you're listening to him. Because you don't know God's voice. You don't understand who you are. And what, why he died for you on the cross. And you don't understand his love. Listen. He's not given up on you. But he's sharing something very beautiful with you, which is his grace and his mercy. He's trying to help you out to get out of that hole so you can breathe. All he's asking you is for you to let it go. I love this song from Stephanie Fressel. She's in Bethel. I'm letting go. Falling into you. Just let it go. Forgive. Stop being angry. Stop going after empty things. 
Stop going for things that are temporarily. Go for what is forever good. And that is God. Because what he wants to do for you, oh my gosh, you have no idea. I have no idea. Listen, the fact that I was so lost and he's been, oh my goodness, a bird came to the window. <laughs> and the fact that he's been giving me all these messages. And he gives me the word. I don't know. I don't know what I would do without him. He's everything to me. Oh God, let this grab people's heart. Let this mean something. Would they just drop everything and go after you? Where, like this worship leader said also in Bethel, Brian Johnson, let us be the people that the storm came and went and we never moved. Can you believe that we can, that is possible? That's with God. You can only do that with God. You can only go through 40 days in the desert and still smile. And survive. Again, common sense, just pure truth. Stop yourself and balance it out. And you will see how God will come to the top. The devil has nothing. God bless you.